Is my underwear all squishy? <laughs> there you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over this school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on, I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. Jimmy's gonna kick your ass! Right, Jimmy? Come here, scum! Here! We can't get in there! How can we get at the switch? Hey, Jimmy! See if you can knock the broom over somehow. Make it hit the switch. Would you hurry there, Jimmy? Now here's another switch I used to... Whoa! Five wires! Looks like I'll have to hold this down and get the power while the new flight to get the switch. Oh, cool. Almost there! Huh, a steam leak. I've heard of those happening, but I've never seen one. could lower the furnace temperature a bit, I bet the steam would stop. I might need that. <laughs> Quick, before it heats up again. It's 
right down there. So, Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff, and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school, I want to run this school. Only one of us is gonna make it. And it's gonna be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know, Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard oh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, OK. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath.
Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So? What's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Okay. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? I'm just under a lot of pressure. Ugh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sat. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet. But nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods. Give me that. Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. will be this year. You! What are you doing? That's disgusting! I think I'm not getting any time This might be this useful. Year. I tell you, he's a drunk. These are very serious allegations, Mr. Hattrick. You'll see. He won't get away with it this time. I hope you're wrong for the sake of Bullworth. What's that? He's trying to hide the evidence! This'll do.
You, you wait now! You're absent without leave, toilet stain! Shouldn't you be in class? You may wait quietly. Very. Run along now, get to class! Here they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miz. Please, take this. <laughs> all right! Jim, go stand over by the bike workstation. Wait, I don't get to work on cars? Cars are for seniors. You gotta walk before you can run, boyo. <laughs> huh? I guess you're not useless. <laughs> not too shabby, Hopkins. That ain't right. Do it again. Shutting up and working? It works. Good work, Hopkins. Okay. See you next time, Jim. I should teach lessons or something. Let's talk it out. Hey, sir. You got problems, Bozo. Can you help me, sir? I hope Dr. Crabble's snitch doesn't forget. Hey, Pally. Bye.
bunch of thieving jerks. What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Mm. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught. Role playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. All right, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, then you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheet. If not, we keep it. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> That's some funny stuff right there. Stop thinking about who okay, you win. Total like you utter won. gross out. Another one for the collection. Now I'm going to hit you really hard! This is the funnest piece of one paper day. I've ever had! What?! Don't you forgot your plus mini boots or whatever? Hey, what's with the unfair fighting? Better collect this. this out. You suck big time. Money, Melvin. You have earned it, and don't forget about the wenches. Holy moly! I wish I was a centaur. I don't I'm good. That's all there is to it.
your fellow Bullworth Academy. You are violating your uh, academic oh, call out here, please. Ah, I needed those. Troublemaking will be found. Welcome to photography class. I'm Miss Phillips. I'll be handing out your cameras and first assignment in a moment. Junk, Gary. I'm pretty sure indigents like you devalue you. our school. You're probably really proud of that. Did you ever spawn with Biff? He's quite good. No way. Once I made my dad kick. Shows your sensitive side. It was easy. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. You do know you're not. got performance anxiety. <laughs> Get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, 
I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again! Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta help Johnny. Hey, what's I up? like you, Jimmy. Welcome to Yum Yum! Thank you for shopping at Yum Yum! Ah, oh, yes! Hi! You are lucky, my friend. No way to today. People leave stuff lying around everywhere. See you later, okay? Ciao! Ciao, bambino! Another shop. Sure, them. I'd go back to school, but it's mine now. Cure is worse than a disease.
Later. Will you take a look at that there? Did I ever tell What's you your problem? Um, you better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth! It'll last for a month! Ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins. See ya. What wanna be ya? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I was one oh, Jimmy. Look at this. What would you call me? Here comes the little boy. Thanks, kid. Okay, now let's train. I suppose you want to train again? This was my favorite company. Alright, come back sometime, but not too early. Come on in, come on! Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back! No sweat. I'm a... I've got done. Does my trust fund kick in at 821? This must be how the Romans felt! Kick him in the Johnson! Hmm, maybe I can use this to my advantage.
like my shoes? They're genuine puppy leather. I can do so much better, you know. I love what you look like. Get it! It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. I'll do a round against Hopkins after this fight, if there's anything left. I still think Hopkins will lose. Hopkins, you're such a wimp. His left eye looks swollen. <laughs> That's the best you can do! says that Hopkins is going to bite it. Oh, I could do so I'll much better, you know. That looks like it hurt. Jasmine! Couldn't you just be friends? There's another round after this. <laughs> That's the best you can do! I still think Hopkins will lose! Hopkins is surprisingly tough! Hopkins, you're such a wimp! <laughs> That's the best you can do! Hopkins, you're pathetic! We want blood! I could do so much better, you know? Better, you know? 
I love watching a good match. Fifty dollars says that Hopkins is going to bite it. Hopkins, you're pathetic. It's a wonder Hopkins is still Make standing. Him bleed. Come on! Make him bleed! Come on! Make him bleed! Glad that's done. Hmm, there's a little problem. Your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible. Tell you what, old chap. We'll give you that old abandoned beach house. Should be nice once you clean it up. And done. Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah, I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm gonna get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a princess! Oh. And I need people to do things for me. So hurry up, because I want to be first! Oh, man. All right. Keep an eye on the plebeians they send. Maybe I we should don't want their kind of engulfing yacht. Why is this stuff lying around everywhere? My daddy's gonna sue you! It's just not fair! I don't see why something like this should happen. going right now. Nice, right? Thanks, Jim. Maybe I can make Seriously, that you thank you. Why do poor people have to be so rude? Is it genetic or something? Oh, no! this forever I can use that <laughs> I just want to cool. play sports that's all <laughs> that's great Jimmy if only you'd been born into my social circle well I do have a few uses you know oh really well you know nice girls like nice flowers Anyway, here's some money. It's the least I could do. And it's Daddy's anyways. The show's about to start, but come see me sometime. We can work through these class issues we have. Oh, I'll work through your class issues all right, sweetie. A 
another good deed done. Listen, pal, help a poor, desperate fella out. Welcome! I told you it was a good price! 